question is from Heather Fontaine with WHAS TV News. Good morning. Can you talk about complaints you've received questioning the legitimacy of some of the pop-up testing sites, specifically one operated by O'Hare Labs? How long are people waiting for their results? Have you been able to contact them? What kind of approval process is there to open a testing site? Dr. Moyer, can you answer that? Sure, I'll start and then I'm gonna hand it over to Nick on my team to finish. So we have been getting complaints about O'Hare Labs, probably about a dozen at least. The main theme is that um, they do the testing but then don't provide the results in a timely manner. For one person, it's been 11 days, for others, five to six, um, and, but they've not been responding to repeat attempts to, uh, for us to contact them. So I encourage everyone um, who's looking for testing to please use the providers listed on our website. All of those have been vetted by us um, and are getting results in a timely manner. So um, please check out our webpage um, for testing locations and use those when you're looking for a test. Uh, Nick, anything else to add? So I, I will say that um, LMPHW does not license medical providers or laboratories. And so the state does have a division of laboratory services where um, they conduct CLIA certifications and certifications on lab and testing um, services. Also, the Board of Medicine does the licensing for medical providers. So we will help facilitate investigation of complaints and assist the Board of Medicine as well as laboratory services in investigating these. We'll also say that any entity offering laboratory or diagnostic services also has to register with Team Kentucky and the Department of Public Health. And those forms are available on Team Kentucky's website. So we are trying to uh, uh, investigate these, hand over what information we have to the state so that we can get it into the right authorities to address this issue. Okay, thank you both. And then Heather had a follow-up question. Should people be using caution when choosing which site to get tested? And I think Dr. Moyer, you answered that by encouraging people to use the testing providers that we have provided on our webpage because we have vetted those.